how to hit a hook shot in NBA 2K22. And so what you need to do is hold down on the L2 button. This allow you to go and back down your opponent. Hold that. And then press up on the right analog stick to perform your hook shot. And just like with regular jump shots, you'll need to go and get comfortable with the hook shot of your choosing as there are a few different ones that you can select from. The one I'm using here is Kareem's hook shot, the famous sky hook. And so you can go and go for that one and get comfortable with that. And uh, there's a few basic ones as well, or generic ones. And then there's also Shaq's hook shot. Now his, with Shaq, it's a little different because his is more like a collection, like, a, like just different animations for his hook shots. So if you want more of a variety in your hook shots, you could go for Shaq. If you want, if you're just good with just the one animation, then Kareem's sky hook is, is good too. So because there's only the one animation for Kareem's sky hook. So, so for Shaq's hook, yeah, it's more of a collection, so just keep that in mind as well. But yeah, that's really it though, so back down and then press up on the analog stick to go and do the hook shot. So it's a it's a good move, it's an effective move, it's a move that not a lot of people do nowadays, If you even for bigs. A lot of times with bigs, they'll just kind of back in and just kind of power their way through and score in the paint like so. So a lot of people who have centers, they tend to play more of a shack role, try to use power and brute force to get into the get into the paint and score so and that's fine too but if you are somebody who wants to get a little bit more i guess flashy or do something a little different i guess then you could go ahead and just pull off a hook shot so but yeah definitely get yourself acclimated with the with the different hook shots see which one you like the best you know maybe you like one of the basic ones better maybe you like the shack collection better maybe you love the sky hook so whatever the case is definitely try them all out if you have a good hook shot rating now it's gonna be a lot harder if your hook shot rating is lower of course just like with other attributes but for hook shots it seemed like especially it could be a little harder so but with the shots being closer it makes them a little easier so and that's another thing i'll tell you too is that make sure you're close enough to the basket to pull off the hook shot because if you're too far out then your character will go for a post fade so and you don't want that to throw you off even if you're good with post fades it might still throw you off because you might be expecting a hook shot but then he ends up going for a fade so if you're like about right uh probably here that's when you'll be going for the the post fade pretty much so yeah so keep that in mind as well might even be a little closer yeah like even even closer like that you still go for a post fade so make sure you're at the right spot to pull it off so i'd say uh, see, so on the Bulls logo might be a good spot. Yeah, Bulls logo is probably the starting point around that area. It's a good point to do the sky hook, so or any hook that is. So, yeah, so that's the best point. So right around here is a sweet spot. So make sure you don't go further out. If you go further out, then you will be doing post fade by accident. So just keep that in mind when you pull up and things like that. And you know, post fade. You know, there's more ways of doing that anyway. You can pull up if you're further out or you could go from or you go right or left with the analog stick if you're closer if you want to do a, a post fade so like right right there i was a little closer and i just did a post fade there so i just moved the an right analog stick to the right to do that and i could go left with that as well so yeah that's basically that's basically how the the uh, post fade works anyway so that was beautiful <laughs> but yeah if you want to do a sky hook though you know like i said or the shack hook or whichever hook that you have then yeah make sure you are close enough to the basket to pull it off so but what you do and what you get nailed down you'll be you'll be pretty darn unstoppable especially if you got some length to you and things like that you'll be pretty good so uh yeah so definitely uh take advantage of those post moves and not even just the the, the the hooks but the you know post fades as well take advantage of that because a lot of players don't do that as much anymore so they'll take advantage of that because they can make you pretty unstoppable if you're really effective with it and if you got good rating and things like that so Yep, that's basically it though. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you did find this video helpful at all, then definitely feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. We'll be doing a lot more NBA 2K videos going forward. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing more tips and tricks and maybe some other stuff as well. We're in an early stage here on this channel. We may do some other sports games as well. I do have a couple of like the golf games in mind. Uh, EA Sports PJ Tour is coming out next year. So definitely got my eyes on that. Uh, Riders Republic is another game we've been doing a lot on on this channel. So we may do some more Riders Republic as well. If you haven't seen Riders Republic, I think you'll, if you look at the older videos or anything new that we post or anything or any video that you see, you're, you might like it. So you might like it and say, wow, this game looks pretty cool. It is a very fun game. It's a be beautiful looking game, and like I said, it's just a lot of fun. So, we might be doing a little bit more of that as well. But it'll be a 2K, it's going to be the main game for the most part. Here, um, I'm also on, I'm also on Twitter at Ghost Panda Sum. So, feel free to go and follow me there as I'm talking about not only NBA 2K, but I'm talking about a little bit of everything gaming wise. So, if you are a gamer in general, then definitely feel free to follow me there on Twitter. 
that goes Panda Storm. Feel free to say hi, and uh, I'll be more than happy to get back to you. So definitely feel free to say hi over there, and uh, yeah. So yep, yeah, so definitely follow me. I'm there all the time, so I'm <laughs> very very active. So definitely feel free to go in, and and uh, follow and say hello. But anyway, thank you again very much for watching. I really really appreciate it. I will talk to you in the next video. Peace. Adios. Sayonara. Ghost Panda. Out of here.